Not so fast, evildoer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. You and your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. Ah, but there's only one more box to go, and I'll have 20 box tops. And that means... I can get the Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. I can hardly wait. Sam! It's almost time for dinner. Dinner? Oh boy, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, I don't think that was me. spoil my dinner and now they've gone to cause trouble somewhere else. Somebody's got to stop them. Somebody like... Pajama Sam! Of course, I'll need my cape. Back here. Nope, it's not behind here. Aha! All right, cookies. Your dinner spoiling days are over. Jim and Sam is on his way! <laughs> the pantry, of course! <laughs> Hello? Is somebody there? <laughs> Nobody here but us potatoes! I know you're in here. <laughs> what? Hey, that tickled. <laughs> Where are you taking me? What?
eat all this stuff. Great party. Yep. I'm Sam. Of course. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. How long is this party going to go on? It's a political party. It goes on forever. Wow. Where do they get all this food? At the store, I think. I like this music. Yeah, but I'm not much of a dancer. Have you been here long? Ah, just a few weeks. Wow! Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Can you tell me where we are exactly? We're at a party! Can you tell me where we are exactly? We're at a party! Party for me? I think you spelled my name wrong. How's that? On the sign, Sam should only have one S. Oh, that? Oh, that's S S A M. It stands for Snacks and Sweets Aggressive Majority. Oh. Job for Pajama Sam! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. You ate it, Sam. <clears throat> well, um, thanks everyone. This is a great party, but I think I should be going now. It's almost my dinner time, and I wouldn't want to spoil it. My mom made all that broccoli? You can just wait here in jail until your trial next month, healthy boy. Next month? But it's almost time for dinner. Tell it to the fudge. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to the party. Fa la 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 la. I can't stay in here a whole month. I've got to get out of here. Oh boy, a box top! If I can find 20 of these, I can get a Pajama Man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. Hey, bonbons! I like those. My name's Sam. I'm Florette. Are you a political prisoner too? I don't know. I think I'm in here because I said I didn't want to spoil my dinner. Hmm. The sweets don't always get along well with the other foods. But I'm not a food. How come you're in here, Florette? Do you not want to spoil your dinner, too? I'm one of the delegates to the big peace conference at the Food Pyramid. Peace conference? Yes. 
Delegates from all the food groups are supposed to get together to work out our differences. I represent the vegetables. Oh. Florette, I don't see what you being a... What did you call it? Peace delegate? Right. What does that have to do with you being in jail? Those sweets locked me up in here because they don't want the peace conference to happen. I had no idea that sweets were so mean. They're not all like that. It's mostly just this one group. Sometimes, when you get a lot of them together, they get a little crazy. That's funny. My mom says the same thing about my big brother and his friends. We've really got to get out of here. You need to get to your peace conference, and I've got to be home in time for dinner. How are we going to get out? Never fear! A Jim of Sam is here! I'll get us out of here! Hey, I think this is... Oops, gee, I didn't mean to break anything. Well, maybe this will come in handy. deserve a reward. conference at the food pyramid as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for getting us out of there, Sam. You're a real hero. See you later. Gee, those troops shouldn't bother me. After all, there's no blue food, right? But I'm not taking any chances. Another box top! Can't go back to jail. I've got more important stuff to do. I've got to get home for dinner. I'm tired of being in jail. I don't want to go back there. I hope I never have to go back to jail again. Ever! I can't go back... General, no! Oh. 
Hi, Carrot. Sam. Boy, am I glad to see you. The island of Mop Top is in big trouble. Mop Top? Yeah, Mop Top. Here's what's going down. The folks who live on Mop Top are all foods, right? The Fats and Sweets group is taking over. There's just so many of them. They're causing problems all over the island. General Beefoot wants to declare war on them. That doesn't sound very good. You got that right. So, I've organized a peace conference. One member of each of the six food groups has been chosen as a delegate to all get together here at the Pyramid to talk out their differences. I think Florette said something about that before. Right. She's one of the delegates at the conference. Trouble is, only two are here and there are supposed to be six. That's bad news. We need everybody or the conference is off. What? The conference is off? All right, that's it. This means war. No, General, no. The conference is still on. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Omar Private, it's about time you got here. Where are those reports I asked for? I'm sorry, I don't think you asked me for any reports. Uh, we've never really spoken before. Oh, well then, it's a good thing you didn't bring me any reports. Keep it up, lad. You might get a promotion out of this. Ah, there you are, Private. What's the news from the front? The front? It looks like pajamas, same as always. Ha ha, very good. Now off with you, young man. Moron, isn't there? Private, why aren't you guarding the telescope at A-Complex? I'm sorry, I think you've got me confused with someone else. Me? How do you know it's not you that's got you confused? I'm never confused about anything. Except for that one time at the trifle range. But that hardly counts. Man the torpedoes! Uh, yes, sir. Pardon me? Why, did you do something wrong? Well, no time for that now. Big things are afoot. Oh, one more thing, Sam. I've got to stay here and keep the general from declaring war. So somebody needs to find the other four delegates and get them here. They must have run into trouble, or they'd be here by now. I can find them for you. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. But how will I recognize them? That part is easy. They'll all be wearing straw hats. Florette and Luke Wigglebig are here. The delegates still missing are Chuck Cheddar, Dean 47, Granny Smythe, and Pierre Lapin. What's this? A garage and a sweet just marched through the head. Or I tell you! No, General, wait! Boy, oh, I'd better find those delegates and get them here as fast as I can. Hi, Florette. I guess this must be the peace conference, right? Yes, that's right. It's nice. Ah, oh, gee. Excuse me, I don't believe we've met. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. Luke, this is Pajama Sam. Sam, this is Luke Wigglebig from the Fast and Sweet. I was asked to be here because of my remarkably good taste. I see. I'm glad to see you made it here, okay? All thanks to you, Sam. When are we going to start this conference, anyway? When everyone has arrived. I do wish we didn't have to wear these ridiculous hats. They're so tacky. I like them. Yeah. Just for the record, I think I should say that the SSAM do not reflect the views of all fats and sweets. Many of us are interested in peace. That's good to know. You know, we sweets are renowned for our good taste. Oh, it stands to reason that we should be in charge. I think maybe we should wait for everyone to get here before we start on any of that. Hmm. Librarian, right? Yes, that's
That's right. Why are you crying? Can I help? Oh, no, thank you. Is this a book I'm reading? It's very sad. What book are you reading? Is it one of the classics? Well, sort of. Y you see, it's a... Oh, all right, it's not one of the classics. It's called Passion in Pittsburgh. I got it at the supermarket. Satisfied? Sure, there's nothing wrong with that. You really think so? Sure. Well, don't tell anybody just the same. We librarians have to keep up appearances. Okay. My lips are sealed. Thank you. What happens in your book? It's the women who fall in love with steel workers during the disco era. Sounds kind of mushy. Oh, it is. Is there a car chase in it? As a matter of fact, yes. Lila has to chase Thurman to keep him from flying back to Cairo, where he's secretly a prince. That doesn't sound too bad. What else happens in your book? Loomis loves Betty, but Betty loves Trent and Trent loves Alice. Michael. But secretly, she really loves Lorenzo, who has fallen for Yvette. Yvette is married to Simon, but she loves Randall, and Simon loves Alice. Randall loves Lucy, who loves Henry, who loves Grace. But she's too tied up in her work to notice. Oh, it's so real. Tell me some more about your book. Mr. Burphy plans to close the steel mill. Which would be awful, because then Lawrence would have to move away from Betsy. Fortunately, Mr. Murphy develops a terrible rash and has to go to New Orleans. What are you reading now? Trent and Kent, they're the twins, coincidentally wind up at the same restaurant at the same time, and Elsie doesn't realize there are two of them. It's quite tragic. What else happens in your book? Franklin receives a leg transplant from a marathon runner, and they can't get him to stay at home. Oh, my! What's happening in the part you're reading now? One of the women, Beatrice, sits at the same bus stop every day with this man, Kevin, but she never sees him because she only has one authentic. Tell me some more about your book. Bruce accidentally gets stuck in a huge block of cement with only his head sticking out so Lacey has to feed him all his meals. Oh, it's so romantic, it makes me blush. What else happens in your book? Visitors from space come to Earth and Beth has to decide whether to stay with Michael or to run away with Zufrax. It's quite a dilemma. She loves them both. Tell me some more about your book. Bruce accidentally gets stuck in a huge block of cement with only his head sticking out so Lacey has to feed him all his meals. Oh, it's so romantic. It makes me blush. What's happening in the part you're reading now? Visitors from space come to Earth and Beth has to decide whether to stay with Michael or to run away with Zufrax. It's quite a dilemma. She loves them both.
We're good. We're guards. Yeah, we're guarding the uh, uh, entrance. This entrance right here. We're guarding it. I see. Can I go inside? Oh, 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 well, let's see. It's no guards allowed. No, that's not right. It's guards only. Guards only, that's right. And, uh... Well, he's not a gourd, so... Uh, so that would mean... I mean, no, you can't go in. No admittance. Unless you're a guard. Which you're not. A guard. Sorry. That's okay. Hey, a big donut! And it's a swing! Whee! I'm Sprinkle. Uh, hi, I'm Sam. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were... I mean, I should have asked. That's okay, I love to swing. What else would I be doing tied to a tree like this? That's a good point. What else do you like to do besides swing, Sprinkle? I used to like to swim quite a bit. Well, float, really. I'm a good floater. But I think I mentioned swimming before, but mostly I don't do that these days. Why not? Because I'm tied to a tree, silly. Oh, yeah. It's a good thing I can float. Say, the water is very nice today. For dinner, but maybe you could give me a ride. Sure, hop on. these french fries. Hello? Hello, french fry. I'm not a french fry. I'm Pajama Sam. Oh, so you love french fries. Especially with teriyaki sauce. Mmm, teriyaki sauce. That's the only way I'll eat them, actually, is with teriyaki sauce on them. Then there's no stopping me. I like mine with ketchup. Well, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is great! Look at all these different sauces! Yes, it's a condiment tree! Oh boy, ketchup! Ketchup is good on everything! Mmm, hot sauce! And it's the extra spicy kind! Ew, horseradish! This stuff is too strong for me, but some people like it. Barbecue sauce! I put this on my peas. Mom thinks I'm nuts, but it's good! This is relish on vinegar. It tastes awful by itself, but it's good on salads and things. This is teriyaki sauce. 
My mom likes to cook things with it. I might find a use for this teriyaki sauce. I better take it. This is mayonnaise. Mom puts it in deviled eggs. Yum! Mmm, mustard. I like mustard on my sandwiches. Yes, I am Pierre Lupin of the Breads and Grains Group. Can you get out of there? Alas, no. I have tried. I believe that the only way for me to escape is for you to ring the bell at this game and win me. I can do. Thank you. For the peace conference to be deprived of Pierre, this is not good. Do you know if the conference it has started already? I think they're waiting for everyone to get there first. Ah, this is good. But if everyone doesn't get there soon, the general is going to declare war on the sweets and fats. Ah, this. It is not so good. You must get me down so that I may help. I'll think of something. This looks like fun. Oh. I'm not sure I can do this. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! But seriously, folks, let me ask you this. What goes ha 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 ha, plop, plop, plop? An orange holding its breath. Hey! You ain't funny! Bring back the other guy! Don't you get it? Orange? Breath? Plop, plop, plop? Plop this, wise guy! It's true. He really isn't very funny. But hey, tell me. What do you think of these shoes, eh? <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, next up is Tom Rutabaga, the Knock Knock King. How about a nice hand 
a Mickey Hops, folks! Mickey Hollandays in his great big floppy shoes! All right, folks, check this out. It'll knock you right out of your seat. Knock, knock. Who's there? Omelette. Omelette who? I'm a lot funnier than Mickey Hollandays is. <laughs> you can see why they call me the Knock Knock King. Knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? The yodeling contest is tomorrow. Today we're doing knock knock jokes. Please stick to the program. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, huh? Okay, how about this one? Knock knock. Who's there? Wendy. <laughs> Wendy who? Wendy, last time you heard this many hilarious jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, check this out. Knock knock. Who's there? Door now. <laughs> <laughs> One. Knock, knock! Who's there? Theodore! Theodore who? Theodore's locked! Why do you think I'm knocking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hang on! This is a good one! Knock, knock! Who's there? Lima Bean! Lima Bean who? Lima Bean out here a long time! Open the door already! <laughs> Who's there? Police! Police who? Police open the door! It's cold outside! <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? Knock, knock! Who's there? Luke! Luke who? Look out! It's a knock, knock joke! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, another box top! <laughs> Who's there? Howard! Howard who? How would you like in these jokes? I'm a riot, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. This is a good one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ketchup. Ketchup who? Ketchup quick. We're losing the race. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, huh? Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Jerry. Hi. I, um, I saw your act. <sighs> Tell me the tr- No, I wouldn't say that. I wish I had a better head for jokes. I'm such a failure. Did I tell you once I bombed so badly that the audience followed me home and threw vegetables at my house? That is bad. I'm a lousy comedian. Why don't you tell me a joke right now? A joke? Oh, okay. Why did the... Ah, uh, no, that's not it. Uh, what color was the... No, no, oh... But I'm a professional comedian! Oh, yeah. Say, is it alright if I take your pumpkin? Sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Thanks! Why did the chicken cross the road? Because I can't remember. Oh, no. Don't worry. It's okay. My career is over. I'm such a failure. Oh, oh, hang on. This is a good one. Knock. A box top. Oh, hey, check this out. Knock, knock. Who's there? Thistle. Thistle who? This will be the last time I tell a knock, knock joke. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Please pose for your picture. Out <laughs> one photo per customer. This booth is pretty neat. I wonder why it doesn't cost any money. Please pose for your picture. Please pose for your picture. Boy, 
you guys look healthy. Yeah, we know. Hi, what's up? Oh, you know, we're just baking, you know? Yeah, just soaking up some rays. How will you know when you're done baking? Done? Like, a tan is never done. You do this all the time? Totally. As long as there's sun on us. Speaking of which, could you be careful not to block my light? Oh, sure. Thanks. This exercise machine is connected to the Ferris wheel. Yep. That's right, little dude. When we work out, it makes the wheel go around. The water's on, but nothing's coming out of the hose. That faucet is leaking like crazy. Here's another box top. Let's go. Okay. I'm the foreman here at the factory. You're not looking for work, are you? No. Good. <laughs> I've got enough troubles as it is. I'm supposed to sort everybody out with this new BCS 4000 bean counter sorter machine. But I don't even have a manual to tell me how to put it together. Oh dear, oh dear. Allowed to wear a mustache. Did it take long to grow? Oh no, it's a false one. We beans can't actually grow hair. I see. Do you have a lot of responsibilities as the foreman? Yes, but they're all on hold until I can find a manual and get this bean sorter put together. Where on earth am I going to find that manual? There isn't a bookstore on the whole island. Don't worry, I'll help you think of something. Free etiquette lesson. Hmm. 
Well, it's free. But then, what is etiquette anyway? It's like being polite when you talk. Setting the table properly. That kind of stuff. Oh! What are you all jumping for? It's not jumping, we're dancing. It's called the pogo. Is there any way I can help you with that? Nope. This is a job for a plumber. How come you don't have a plunger like the other guy? I lost it the other day while I was skiing. It doesn't matter too much, since I mostly just handle the paperwork anyway. What's this? Oh, that's just my old ski ticket. I heard it's South Cyrus now. You can have it if you want. What are these shapes marked on it? That's the route I always take when I go skiing. Oh. Say, that's a nice wrench. Yep. That's a Shaftsman High Council Monkey Man with 30 to 300 auto zoom and... Hey, are you in the union? The union? The plumber's union. Let's see your plunger. Um, I haven't got it. Oh. Okay. Is that a pajama man lunchbox? No, this is the RX-1000 boot suspender. The Cadillac of lunchboxes. It's vacuum sealed, and it has a nitrogen based temperature regulator. That's pretty fancy for a lunchbox. No, it has to be. Inside, perfectly preserved, I've got the ultimate. The best cheese sandwich ever made. Really? I love cheese sandwiches. What kind of cheese do you use? Monster, of course. It's the best for cheese sandwiches. Mmm, mmm. Sounds delicious. You think I could have a taste of your cheese sandwich? Are you kidding? This is the finest cheese sandwich made! We can't just eat it! I'll bet that bulging pipe is why the drain upstairs is backing up! I wonder what this does? I think that's a big old clog. These must be spare pipes just in case. I don't think that will work. I don't think that will do much good. easier way to fix that clog downstairs. Lead this to the professionals, okay? Okay. Hey, Sprinkle, how about another ride? Sure, anytime.
Excuse me, young man. Yes? If you want to take that book with you, you'll have to check it out. Oh, okay. Do you have a library card? No. Do I need one? Yes, you serve your picture, and I'll put it on this card. My picture? Yes, a picture of you. It's necessary for identification purposes. Okay. I'll keep the book here for you while you do that. Okay, thank you. Here's a photo of me. Now I can make you a library card. Can I use this card now? Yes, you can. You may wait. After that, the fine is $400 a day. That seems like kind of a lot. Just have the book back in three weeks! Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Another ride. Sure, anytime. Come on, Sprinkle, let's go. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, Sam. My name is Selma Celery, and this is my sister, Selena Celery. Hello. Hello. We teach dancing and etiquette here. What do you do? Right now, I'm helping a carrot prevent a war by finding peace delegates and getting them to a big conference. How delightful. Yes, war is always such a filthy business. That would be godlyly done. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Excuse me. Yes? I have a coupon for a free etiquette lesson. So you do, young man. So you do. Come right in. Table manners are the most commonly neglected rules of etiquette in these modern times, so that's what we'll cover in today's lesson. First, a few pointers, all right? Okay. Never rest your arm on the table while eating. Eat your soup with a spoon. Do not slurp it from the bowl. Never throw food at the table. Excuse yourself before making funny animal noises. Do not draw and poke holes in or set fire to the tablecloth. Standing on the table during a meal is not permitted. Eat all the food on your plate and do it in alphabetical order. 
Are we okay so far? Um, I... The dinner plate goes in the center with the bread plate to the left and the glass or glasses at the upper right. Silverware should be placed as follows. Forks on the left. Salad fork. Seafood fork. And steak fork. To the right we have the steak knife. Seafood knife. Soup spoon. Cocktail weenie poker. Swizzle stick. And mashy niblick. The cheese fork will be the one which is brought with the cheese. Dessert silverware is set separately after the meal. This concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for coming, and we do hope you'll consider us for all your etiquette needs in the future. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. about technical manuals? Oh! It's the BCS 4000 Operator's Guide by Dr. Gizmo Flutewing. Sprouts be praised! We can put the machine together! Quick, help me. Take an end. That ought to just about do it. Thanks for all your help, Sam. Hey, what do you say? Shall we fire it up? I'll let you do the honors. Sure! All beans to the counting and sorting machine. I can use this machine to sort the beans and find number 47. The kidney beans go on one side, and the jelly beans go on the other. It looks like you're being number 47. So you've got to represent us at the peace conference. It's a great honor! You better take this hat, in case there's any confusion. Thank you! 
Royal Foreman? I'll be on my way immediately. Well, that's one down, three to go. Good work, Sam. And good luck. Thanks. again. Hop on! Straw hat. Are you one of the delegates to the peace conference? I sure am. I'm Chuck Cheddar. Cheese of Adventure. I'm Pajama Sam. Do you need help? Across. I'll see what I can do. Much obliged, Pajama Sam. am called Syllabus the Sage for reasons I cannot fathom. Fathom? I sit here atop Mount Wisdom and ponder the deeper mysteries of the universe. What are you pondering right now? I am considering the nature of cheese. Oh, I like cheese. Well then, Perhaps you will be able to help me find the answer to the great three-part question of the nature of cheese. What are the th cheese fork? Hey, I know that one. The cheese fork is the one that gets brought with the cheese. Excellent. It is elegant in its simplicity. Well then, let us move on. The second part of the question is this. What sort of cheese is the moon made of? The moon is made of cheese? The last part is perhaps the most important. What sort of cheese is the best to put in a cheese sandwich? Oh, I know. The plumber told me monster cheese is the best. Of course. I should have thought to ask a plumber. I'll keep working on that last one. Hey, a gondola! I wonder where it goes. A ski resort! Boy, this place has got everything! A box top! shapes show the route that plumber took when he went skiing. These shapes show the route that plumber took when he went skiing. Oh boy, I'm gonna go skiing! Look at all those different routes. Those shapes look like the ones on my ski ticket. Yay! Yay! 
All right, a plunger. I'll bet this belongs to that plumber. Another box top. <laughs> um, look, a sweet potato. Where is that? I don't see anybody. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the A complex, Mr. Uh, uh Gord. Sam Gord. Mr. Gord. Very good. Oh yes, that's that's very good. I think I'll just go on in here now. Hold it, that's the... Oh, wait a minute. It's gourds only, right? Yes, and he's a gourd. So I guess that means, um... That means we let him in. Aha! Closet of our house. I like this music. I bet I could see all the way around the world with this thing. Mozzarella, the mozzarella, just like a giant pizza. Look, a 40-foot marble! What? Are you sure? Again, the last part of the cheese question? Surely. Part two is what type of cheese is the moon made of? Oh, sure. I remember now. I saw it through the telescope. It's must. You've helped me to answer all the parts of the great question of the nature of cheese. You are a wise young man, Sam. Thank you. And now for my favorite part. We get to eat some cheese? No, we get to blow the horn of celebration. I do it every time I get the answer to one of my questions. Since you helped me so much, perhaps you would like to do the honors. Oh boy, would I? <gasps> no, not again. Say, hey, kid, great plan. You really helped me out of a jam here. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd stick around and swap stories with you, but I've got to get to that peace conference pronto. See you around, Sam. Bye. Well, I guess we gotta start the hole over again. Let's take a break first. Good idea. Come on, everybody, break time. <laughs> Well, that's two delegates down, two to go. I could use a ride again. Hop on! Come on, Sprinkle, let's go! Okay!
I've got a plunger just like yours, except smaller. A plunger, huh? Well, you must be a plumber then if you got that. Hey, guys, look at this fella's plunger. Yeah, that's a real nice plunger. Real nice. Always nice to meet a fellow plumber. Folks call me scissors. This is paper. And that's rock over there. I'm Pajama Sam. It's a pleasure, Sam. Likewise. Yeah. Anything you need, you just ask. Do you think I could try out that really big plunger? Oh, well, now you see. This is an extra special mega plunger with a telescoping handle. Great for reaching clogs normal plungers can't. I need it right now because I'm working on a real... Do you think I could use that wrench for a while? Sure, Sam. Yes, we're all plumbers here. Thanks. All right, a box top. Log is gone at least. These must be spare pipes. Somehow that doesn't look quite right. Now that that clogged piece is fixed, I'll bet the water will flow better. There, that should do it. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got it! Now we can finally... Baskets. Oh boy! It looks like your claw got fixed! Yep, I finally got it! You see, you just gotta keep at it. Are you gonna be using that big plunger now? Not right now. I might let you try it out. Except I have to have some kind of plunger in case of emergencies. If you're not using that big plunger right now, would you like to trade me for a while? Why sure, I guess that'd be alright. I've been working with Rock for years, so I'm used to it. Yeah. <laughs> 
There, that's much better. Another job well done by Handyman Sam. Here you go, Flower. Boy, cauliflower sure grow fast around here. Oh no! What is it? Uh, uh, Shiny! Ah! She's Wiz. Let's go, girls. Maybe we can find some sun someplace else. Whoa! There go the cupcakes, dude! Bummer. What are we gonna do now? Work out some more. What else? Yeah! Alright! Qu'est-ce que c'est? The wheel it turns! Ah, uh, the room fully clear. Well done! You have completed the rescuing of me, and only with a slight bruising. You have the sincere thanks of Pierre Lupin. You're welcome. Now you'd better get to that peace conference right away. So true. I will make the utmost of haste. Again, thank you, and goodbye. Bye! <coughs> That's three down, only one more to go. Shall we? Let's shall. That's Granny Smythe. I don't think I found her yet. Goodbye. 
I'm telling you, meals should consist strictly of dairy products, for health reasons. But it is the breads which are the most healthy of foods. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Krusty here thinks he's healthier than I am. This cheese has gone rancid. I cannot negotiate with him. Uh-oh. You're both fools. The bean way is... People for meals and dessert. What do you know, you old crab apple? A lot more than you, you overgrown lump of mold! Please, let's not resort to name-calling. Who made you the boss, you wilted weed? Flathead! Shrub! Entre! Loaf! Pabulum! Grub! Mercel! Gobbit! Tidbit! Stop! What's going on in here? I thought I heard shouting! This means war! No, no it doesn't. You're all being silly fighting like this. If there's one thing I've learned since I've been here, it's that no food is an island. What? What are you talking about? You two are arguing about whether cheese or bread is better, but it takes cheese is maybe the most perfect food there is. And neither of you could do it without the other. Hmm. Say right. Hmm. Cheese sandwich. And there's other stuff, too. What about peanut butter and jelly? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peaches and cream? Mm. All the best things to eat are made by different kinds of food working together. And that's what you should all be doing. Instead of fighting, you can work together to create new and better things. New? Better? Sure. Like maybe an apple broccoli Bean, cheese, and lollipop sandwich. The kids got a point. We have been most foolish. Put her there, partner. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Cooperation? Why this means <laughs> me. I hereby officially and irrevocably declare peace. Hooray. Great speech, Sam. You really saved the day with that one. I'm glad I could help. Can you stick around to help us make plans for the future? Or have you got to get home for dinner? Dinner? Oh my gosh! I forgot!
wanna leave? 